Hi, and welcome to the showcase of Choices and Opportunities, formerly known as Choices Fair. I'm Riley Sipes from North High School, and this is your one-stop shop to learn about the different educational options available in the Wichita Public Schools. Representatives from magnet schools, neighborhood schools, and a variety of special programs are here to provide information to prospective students. Let's go check it out. Yeah. We are here with Dr. Thompson, our new superintendent. What exactly is the showcase of choices and opportunities? This is a wonderful opportunity to be able to showcase all of our choices and opportunities that we have for our families and students in our community. We highlight our magnet schools and our choices there, but we also highlight our high schools and all of the specific programs they have there, such as AVID and JROTC, um, the fine arts departments are here, our early childhood departments are here. And so we have all sorts of options beyond our magnet schools that are available to our families and we are also showcasing them. And so that's the difference between our normal Choices Fair, where we kind of just highlighted our magnet schools. This year, we're showcasing our entire district and all of the choices. What do you hope people get out of this event? What I hope people get from this event would be the opportunity to be able to know their school district and to be able to engage with their school district and then to be able to say, hey, there's lots of opportunities and they can sit down in their beds and read all of the materials that they have and then select a school that is perfect for their students. So how are things going so far tonight? Uh, they're fabulous. We've actually been really busy. We have had a lot of families that come over. I think with our new theme that we have this year, that the parents are really excited and the students are excited to learn more. So your school is named after Gordon Parks. How does that sort of tie in with your theme? Well, it, it's everything because that's the whole reasoning behind our new theme. Gordon Parks is known, um, he was a trailblazer and he was really known for being a film producer, that photojournalism piece of it and audio production. And so we took all of those things that make him special and unique and we are incorporating it into our theme. So um, it, we really have tried to encompass everything that Gordon Parks is all about. So Mayberry was my middle school and I loved it a lot. So why do you guys like Mayberry or why did you guys choose to go to Mayberry as sixth graders? Well, I chose Mayberry because I personally wanted to have more experience of just like a fine cultural arts school. And I've heard about it a lot from my friends. And I heard that it offers a lot of programs like AVID and that's basically why I came to Mayberry. What would you tell other students about your school? Yeah, <laughs> um, don't be scared on the first day of school. There are a lot of students and teachers to help you around. And also there are a lot of clubs and organizations that you can um, join. And I feel like it will really prepare you for high school and college. What I would tell the new sixth graders coming in is that don't be scared, like she said. It's not as hard as you think it is for me, a personal experience. Whenever I first went to middle school, I thought I was going to get stomped on. I thought I was going <laughs> to fall down on the floor. Same. So I thought that as well. <laughs> yeah, but whenever I got through with the first week, it was really easy and everyone was so, so nice. So what departments do you represent? So tonight I'm here representing pre-kindergarten and pre-kindergarten special ed and then our parents' teachers program and ESOL bilingual. So I'm like really curious, what is Parents' as Teachers? Parents' as Teachers is an organization where we reach out to families, birth to age five, okay. and we service them at home, home visits. We also work with the families um, through play groups. We, and then we also do a lot of outreach programs with our families. So what are you hoping to get out of tonight? Well, we are super excited to be here tonight because we can represent all of our small learners and we're so excited to meet with families and be able to give information about our programs and help them start thinking about next year to get their three and four year olds enrolled into our programs. You go to East High School and you're part of the IB program. Could you tell me about the IB program? Yeah, okay. So the IB program is a comprehensive uh, college preparatory rigorous program. So by comprehensive, I mean it takes up all of your classes. So your English, your math, your science, it's all IB. Um, and it's pretty rigorous in the sense that it is preparing you for college. Um, it's, it's a big workload, but it's definitely worth it. If you, if you like to challenge yourself, it's definitely worth it. So when you were in middle school, what exactly made you want to join the IB program in the first place? 
Well, I went to Robinson Middle School, and that was in the pre-IB program. So that just kind of led into it. It was a precursor. But um, the reason why I wanted to do either or is just because um, I think I really wanted to challenge myself and do something um, outside of my comfort zone. And I just wanted to reach for more, so that's what I did in the end. What exactly makes your school special? There are so many things that make Dodge special, but we are a literacy magnet. So we do a lot of work with our communication. We do a lot of writing, reading, listening, speaking, and we integrate that with a lot of just fun opportunities like bringing authors in. But this year, our theme is mindset. And so we're integrating the mindset, the positive mindset through everything that we do, the growth mindset. So what does that mean? So when we're working on growth mindset, we're teaching students that they can overcome anything as long as they work hard, they persevere, they push through things. So we say the power of yet. And what that means is you might not be able to read these hard words yet, but we keep working hard and you're gonna get there. If you would like to apply to a magnet school for your child for the 2018-19 school year, there are a few important dates to remember. Magnet school site visits will take place November 13th through 17th and December 4th through 8th. Please contact the schools for specific hours. The magnet application deadline is December 15th. Northeast Magnet High School selection will take place in January and elementary and middle school selection will take place in March. For more information, go to usd259.org magnet. For WPS-TV, this is Riley Sipes reporting.